Warming up in practice mode before getting into ranked or getting ready to face off against your friend is one of the most overlooked aspects of improving your game in Tekken 7. So I'm going to show you some of the things that you must do every time you boot up Tekken 7 preparing to get into ranked to face off your friend and I guarantee you that these methods are going to improve your gameplay heavily. So just like any other PvP game, you always have to put some time to warming up or practicing before getting into a match. That can be the difference between you losing one game or losing five games, right? So first things first, I want you to first always practice your movement overall in practice mode. So boot up practice mode and every time, every single time, I want you to first spend about a minute practicing your Korean backdash, right? So Korean backdash reset do your korean backdash again reset do your korean backdash again reset always do this for about one to two minutes and i promise you this will improve your overall movement now if you don't know how to korean backdash that's fine you can always do the basic version which is back back right cancel with down back back again cancel with down rinse and repeat right this is a very easy way to cover space in Tekken. So always do this because again, movement in Tekken is so important. It can be the difference between you eating a mix-up and avoiding a mix-up. So this is what I want you to do as a warm-up. Always prioritize movement as a warm-up. One to two minutes every single time. You boot up practice mode in readiness for a ranked match. Just a set against your friend. Now, when I say movement, I don't just mean the Korean backdash itself. I also want you to practice sidestepping as well. So in this case, I'm going to record Horang doing down forward one to down three four, right? So, uh, 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 right? So what you're going to do is record whatever character you have on your practice mode set, doing maybe a low or a heavy mid, like a brand back one, and just figure out which direction you're supposed to sidestep. For example, Horang, I'm going to try left, Okay, left again. Let me just record that again properly. He's doing a little step, which is not a good thing. Okay, so I'll go left. Okay, I'll go right. This is a sidewalk, right? Sidewalk first. Sidewalk first. Sidewalk first. Sidewalk. Then now. Side step block, okay. Side step block right, not working. Side step block left, not working. Side step block. Side step block. So now to do this, you're, basi you're basically training your mind in readiness to for that particular move that you're, you're practicing against a particular character. So for me, against Horan here, I know that a sidewalk will be very effective if I'm trying to avoid that down 3-4. But a sidestep block will be decent enough to sometimes maybe make the first hit with, but the second hit will always clip me. And it's actually not that great in both directions. So I'm preparing myself for that situation. Okay, I'm fighting against my, my friend that means Horan. So, Every time he throws out a down 3-4, I must always try to sidewalk it first and sidestep block maybe to try and get the punishment. So you're practicing all forms of movement, right? Your sidestep movement, your sidestep block movement, your sidestep your side guard movement, sidestep down back block movement, right? Your sidewalk movement, right? So you're practicing movement overall, KBD, sidewalk, um, and sidestep all these things you must always warm this up every time you boot up practice mode secondly you must always warm up your throw break so just like the the, the recording of horang doing his down three four i'm going to record horang doing both grabs right two plus three which is a one plus two break and a quarter circle back three throw which is a one break so um down forward one oh my god down forward one bro down forward one, quarter circle back three, right? Put that as one recording. And the other one would be down forward one, forward three, two plus three. All right, set this both to 50-50. So what has happened is the CPU is going to randomly do both throws, right? So that is one plus two throw. That's one, one plus two throw again. One throw, right? So you're supposed to 
guess or the computer is going to throw out both versions of the throw and you are going to try by all means to just break these throws you know it doesn't matter if you fail right sometimes it can't be your day for throw breaks you might be eating every single throw that your opponent throws to you Tekken has you just have those days bro sometimes it just doesn't work but it's always good to practice the throw breaks every time you're getting into a match right every time you're warming up try to practice throw breaks as much as possible so um i failed that one one throw broken one plus two throw broken one throw broken one throw i missed that one one throw broken one plus two throw broken one plus two throw i missed so guys just do this again for about two three minutes right it all depends on how long you want to spend you know doing that particular uh training for the particular match right so two minutes for throw breaks two minutes for movement as well this will always get you warmed up right again you practicing these things can be the difference between you losing one match and you losing five matches always prioritize these things in practice mode and for our third option i want you to always practice slow blocks always practice slow blocks so for example harang i'm going to record him down forward one down three four right down forward one down back three um okay harang is not really a good option for this so but anyway so so for this i am ready for this right down for three okay again also i didn't punish i'm missing the i don't know why i'm just freezing up okay down for all standing four 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 again come on one mix it up mix it up there we go that's a right punish for a uh, for smith against her rank for down three four okay okay so now the reason why i want you to always do this is to block laws mostly unreactable laws you really have to train your mind to be familiar with that laws particular animations as you saw guys earlier i was getting confused between the both my mind was freezing right i wasn't yet ready to mentally punish those laws right because sometimes i know this has happened to you all the time you, you confuse a large punishable law for like a basic lie look at me i'm just messing up everything all right there we go right what's that in four so sometimes you just confuse a hell sweep let's a kazoya hell sweep with the kazoya down back four right you punish a down back four with a launch punishable punish right with the punish that's supposed to launch a hell sweep you confuse the two and i know for sure that this happens to the most of us and not just me so you always must practice low blocking in the right punishment as well to just train your mind and be ready for that particular situation trust me guys this is very very important i will do an in-depth guide on this but for now these are the three things i want you to always practice or spend a short time in practice mode training your mind before actually getting into a match now there is more it's actually you're actually supposed to do but for a very short amount of time in practice mode even five minutes you can do all these three things just as quick as possible five minutes to movement right two minutes movement one minute breaking throws two minutes blocking laws and punishment that's all you need to to have a good warm-up before going into an actual match you also can do combos right war carries from different um um points from the stage right you can do mid punishment as well just punishing moves that are mid but this is for another video so guys please 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 prioritize these things in practice mode before getting into a match and i guarantee you this will improve your gameplay tremendously right tremendously trust me guys do not sleep on warming up before going into a match now i really hope this was helpful i wanted to do a very short guide something to help you out if you don't do this start doing this right freaking now and i guarantee you you will get better thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video please subscribe if you're new and don't forget to doria that like button with the frame data be ever in your favor and go do some practice mode gg